So here in Photoshop, we're just going to cover some of the fundamentals of working with layers. So if we have a look down to the bottom right, we have our layers panel. If we don't see that, then we're just going to go to Window, Workspace, and then we're going to reset the Essentials workspace. So make sure you've got Essentials selected and Reset Essentials, and that will mean that we are all looking at the same screen as we're kind of going through this. So basically the way that the layers work in Photoshop is they stack from the bottom to the top. So anything that is on the bottom layer here will be hidden by these other layers. So if I click on the eyeballs on the left of my layers here, you can see I'm gradually revealing the different layers behind those other layers. So if I have a look at this face that I've cut out here, then it's revealed when I hide all those other layers. Now, if I turn off this layer and then turn on all my other layers, and then turn this layer back on, we don't see it because it is behind all of these other layers. The way to fix this is to click and hold and select this layer and then drag it up. And you can see as I drag it up through the layers, we're gradually moving it above the other layers. Now we can do this all in one go, all the way up to the top, and then we'll have that layer at the top of those other layers. So essentially, when you're working in Photoshop, keep that in mind, that's how the layers work. So for instance, if we select the rectangle layer, and then we grab a shape, and then we draw out that shape, then it's gonna draw it behind these other images. So actually, this layer is the same color as the other rectangle, we'll just make this red. So you can see that new rectangle layer that I've drawn is behind these other layers because we had this background layer selected first. But again, we can select and drag that all the way up to where we want it, and then move it around in our Photoshop design. But the key here is thinking of the layers as a stacked deck of cards, where this is the bottom card that we have as rectangle one at the moment, and then moving all the way up to our cutout image at the top here. I'm gonna delete this layer. And you can see now we have our layers stacked exactly as we want to. If you do have any questions about Photoshop, then leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you on the next video.